Hi guys, this is Jamin from Point Tech. Uh, we're bringing you a video today on a Samsung Chromebook uh, 303C. The full model number is XE303C, sorry, 303C12. Um, we're show, going to show you today how to permanently repair your touchpad uh, when you lose the click feature. Uh, the touchpad will still work, you'll still move your mouse around but that click feature goes away. I uh, will show you how to permanently repair that today. Uh, in the past, maybe you've seen some people that uh, repair these uh, touch pads by jamming a pry tool or a razor blade down in here and kind of wiggling it around and then uh, fixing that touch feature. That's because these touch pads are cheap. They're only held on by glue. So they can shift and they can move and they can get gunk build up around them. If you're going to do that and, and, and jam something in there and go like this, that'll fix it, but only for like 30 minutes. Um, it, it, it'll it just get jammed up again. I know sometimes we sell these palm rests and I'll fix them like that. And then by the time it sells and I go to ship it, it's it's broken again. It, it, it doesn't work. So we're going to show you how, how to permanently fix that. Let's go ahead and turn this off first. These Chromebooks they turn on when you open them. So, all right, that's off. So let's go into this and show you how to fix that touchpad permanently. Let's take the screws off of the bottom case. You got to get that off to get in there. You're going to have screws along the outside, as you can see where I'm doing them. You got one, two, three, four, five screws that you can see. Take those off. And then there should be four more screws under these rubber feet. So you're going to want to take a a small flat head or a pry tool and work these feet off. They're just stuck on by glue so you can get them off, just be careful. Try not to rip them. Oops. Alright, so all four of the plastic feet are gone and there's four more screws under those feet, so we'll take those off too. That one's loose. Oh well. That will come off on its own. Alright, so let's go ahead and take this bottom case off. Be careful, as usual. It is held on by plastic uh, clips, but they do break sometimes, so be careful when taking it off. Huh, that screw is just like stuck in there. Oh, okay, that's why. All right, so the bottom case is off. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is take out the battery. Uh, it's got multiple screw holes. They may not all have screws in them, but just go through it and check which ones have screws because you don't want to try to rip that battery out when it's still screwed in. You're going to mess stuff up. So... This battery has a lot of screws holding it down. Alright. Uh, the only place the battery is connected to the motherboard is right here. Um, this clip doesn't have any bars or any sort of connector, so it should just pop right out. Just again, as usual, be, be careful. Pop! Comes right out. Okay, now the battery is disconnected. Always a good thing, because these Chromebooks like to turn on randomly when you're working on them. Uh, so there's your touchpad. There's the back side of it. So we're going to try to get that out. You got a few things in here. You got this little um, tin foil piece, I guess it is. As far as I know, that controls static, so don't just rip it off and lose it. We're going to try to save it. So slide a pry tool under there, roll it. I like rolling it, rolling it, rolling it. There we go. Get it out of there. Then you got this touchpad ribbon cable. It's held on by tape. That's because this can't come undone sometimes, so I'm going to try to, I mean, some people take things apart and they don't really care to put it back together well because people can't see it, but it's always better to do things well. So I'm going to take this tape off, but I'm going to save it because I'm going to put that back on after. Uh, as usual, this clip is held on by a little black bracket. 
Uh, very fragile. If you break that or if it falls off, good luck getting it back on. So be very careful. Put something under there. Pop that up. Pop. And then you can pull it out. There we go. There. And then I like to put it back down when I'm done because when it's up, it's easier to lose. So right now, you've unhooked your touchpad. As you can see, there's no screws holding it down. It's just glue. And then you got these little metal tabs here that are stopping it from falling out of the computer. So go nice and easy, uh, but we're gonna put a little bit of pressure on that and pop this out, out of the bottom, um, out of the palm rest, just like this. Just like that. So again, be careful, but you can just push that right out. And now it's, as you can see, it's kind of holding out. Again, it's just held on by glue, so we're gonna want a little stronger pry tool now that won't bend easily. And we're gonna unglue, un unstick this top part so we can get this palm rest out. Just work your way around, be careful. Pry it up, pry it up, there we go. So now we get that part out. Now, I don't know how well you can see this. Maybe I'll turn upside down. These uh, plastic bars here, they're held on by glue, but as you can see, they're skinny. They can break easily. So as you're, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get my, my pry tool under here and sort of pry them off. Um, try not to break them. If you break them, it's not the end of the earth. Um, you can still put this thing back on. But uh, in general, breaking things is not a good idea, even if it doesn't totally matter. So, so there's your uh, touchpad. Clean it off, some plastic got on it. There's your touchpad. Now again, it is possible for this to actually be broken and not work, but 99% chance this is what it is. In this cradle here, gunk and stuff gets built up, dirt, food residue, whatever's in there. And that's what's stopping your touchpad from working from the click feature. So take a pry tool or screwdriver, clean out whatever's in there. Oftentimes there's not a whole lot, but there's a good amount. And then what I like doing to really get this thing cleaned up, take a rag and take some alcohol, 70% alcohol. Um, soak your rag up and then really clean out the inside of this. Just go to town on the, in, the inside wall. Really clean that out. And that's what's gonna really make this a really good fix. As opposed to just cramming something in there, trying to push it over and hope that that lasts for a few days, this is what's really gonna make it good. Now this is alcohol, so this is gonna dry pretty quick, but just give it a nice blow. Really make sure that that alcohol goes away. You don't want liquid around your electronics. What I like doing is taking the alcohol and just going along the edge of this too. Getting rid of any crap that may be on the side of it. All right, that's pretty much your touchpad re repair right there. So let's put this back together correctly. You can see through here, there's your ribbon cable poking out. So you're obviously gonna to wanna to line that up to your, uh, to your clip. If you put this on this way, the ribbon cable's gonna be over here and you're gonna get some. But, so, put it on correctly, over here. And what you're gonna to wanna to do, gonna get this centered. Not only this way, get it in the center, but push it as much up as you can. Cause remember we were losing our touch, so center, up, Hear that? It works, and you can see a nice clean line down there. There's air there now instead of gum. So we got that in there. We're gonna put this ribbon cable back. So take your pry tool again. Lift that black bracket up. Boop. Nice and careful again, because you can break it. And you and this uh, ribbon cable are much stronger than that, so don't jam it in there. You're, you're gonna break it, go nice and slow. Get this ribbon cable down in there, just like that, nice and straight. Once it's in, you can put that, that clip back down. And then if you save this, you can put that tape right back on there. Nice, like the factory did. And you can lay this back down. Again, I, I think that's for static control. Who really knows? But that's reinstalled. It was that easy. So we'll put our battery back in. Again, this clip's easy. You just put it on top, line it up, press it down. It's a pretty easy clip, as clips go. Put 
these batteries back in. Sorry, I put these screws back in. There's a ton of different screw holes for this thing, so just pick some and put the screws in. You don't gotta get it exactly the way it was. Batteries usually don't need a dozen screws to stay put, so. Now the uh, bottom case, be careful with the bottom case. I, I don't know how much work you've done with this model computer, but they're fragile as anything. You get all these clips inside of here from the hinge cover, fragile. And then you get all these clips, see? That one's broken right there. You get all these clips from your bottom case and they're fragile as well. See all these clips, they're all broken, broken, broken. They're all broken, so. Uh, try to be careful when you put this back on you get this door here too that you can easily break It is a lot of breakable fragile not well-made stuff on this computer, but get that back end in first And then you can clip the rest of it down, but if you try clipping the rest of it down first You're never going to get that back end in there flush So see flush Now we'll put the uh, rest of the screws back in The four ones for the feet You'll see sometimes uh, lazy bums put this computer back together and you won't find any screws under the feet. Because people are like, well, no one sees it, so I put it back. Oops. Get off me. Put all the screws back in. Keep getting these feet stuck in my fingers. So. If you lose the stickiness on these feet, you can always just buy like little skinny, thin, double-sided tape. It works pretty good. All right, that is our repair. When you open it up, make sure the thing turns on because Maybe we didn't connect the battery right or something. There you go. Uh, and as you can see, your click feature, I don't know if you can hear that or not, but your click feature is back to working. And that should last you a lot longer than just jamming something in there and playing with it. So as usual, if this was helpful, please like the video. Um, feel free to follow us. Subscribe to the channel if you like electronic do-it-yourself repair. Uh, and if you have any questions, please leave them at the bottom. We do our best to get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.